Welcome back. Some of our experts are about to log on to the WISN 12 News Facebook page. They're going to be taking your questions about the opioid epidemic and what you've seen tonight. And remember, you can scan our QR code for resources to help fight addiction at WISN.com slash opioids. Derek. Wisconsin Attorney General Josh Call is with us now to talk about the state's role in fighting the opioid crisis and substance misuse. General Call, we thank you for your time tonight. Your office has many divisions and personnel. So how broad is the AG's role in fighting this epidemic? Well, I think we have an important role to play uh, in fighting the epidemic, but we, so do so many other partners who do really important work on this from uh, local law enforcement to healthcare providers. Uh, to a number of other people. We, um, for example, have uh, worked to hold large companies accountable that have engaged in false and deceptive marketing practices that contributed to the epidemic. So recently uh, we announced a settlement with McKinsey, a consulting company, uh, that's going to result in more than $10 million going to uh, support efforts to address the opioid epidemic in Wisconsin. And I know for myself personally, growing up in the state of Maryland, one of the most notable cases on this subject was the death of Len Bias in my home county, Prince George's County, uh, cocaine intoxication. And you have your prosecutors that are pursuing what's called Len Bias homicide cases. Kind of give us some idea what, what that is. That's right. Some of the uh, cases where somebody sold uh, an illegal narcotic and as a result of that, another person overdosed and, and died. There are uh, additional penalties under the law for cases where there's a death that results from, uh, from the distribution of drugs. But they can also be important cases because they uh, can help us target the larger scale folks. And then, of course, there's uh, the human impact of those cases on the family members of, of the person who's overdosed and making sure we get justice in those cases. Uh, for those families that are impacted by that is important as well. Being a law enforcement, a career law enforcement guy like yourself, you admit you can't prosecute your way out of this epidemic, right? I think that's right. I think it's got to be a multifaceted approach. I, I do think that there's an important role for enforcement to play in slowing the supply of drugs into our communities, uh, in particular in going after cases where there's violence involved. Um, but I also think that treatment has a critical role to play here. There are a lot of people who are struggling with substance use disorder. And one of the ways that we can reduce illegal drugs coming into our communities is to reduce the demand for those drugs by, by helping people get uh, the treatment they need. You know, sometimes people fall into substance use disorder or face other behavioral health challenges because of a variety of other circumstances going on in their lives. And so if we can invest in things like expanded access to mental health care and overall health care, um, we're going to see better outcomes when it comes to fighting the opioid epidemic. Attorney General Josh Call will be among those joining us in just a few minutes for our live discussion on the 12 News Facebook page. Now, over the last hour, we've worked to show you the depth of the opioid crisis and the toll it's taking on our community. But there is hope. We've posted a list of resources on WISN.com slash opioids. You'll also be able to watch our interviews over again. But before we move to our online discussion, we'd like to thank our partners at the Mark Wahlberg Youth Foundation, DEA 360 and Walmart. I'm Derek Rose. And I'm Diana Gutierrez. Good night.